Hello and welcome to an episode of Katie the Science Lady. Um, I'm Mrs. Jacobson and today's topic is restriction enzymes. So let's learn together. All right, so we're practicing with restriction enzymes today and the one we're going to be using is Echo RI. An echo RI cuts in a very specific place. It's going to cut every time it sees a G and then an A and an A. It's going to cut between the G and the first A. Now it will not cut just between G A. It has to have that second A present. So anytime we see that, we're going to go ahead and cut through each strand of DNA. Now we're not gonna cut straight through. Um, we're going to only cut between those, those combinations. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this DNA piece and then we're going to see how many sections we've cut it into and how many base pairs long each of the sections are. So here's how we do that. We're going to skim across until we see GAA, which we see right here. So it's going to cut through here. We're going to do the, keep doing the exact same thing all the way across. Here's GAA. We're going to cut between the G and the A. And that's it for that strand. We're going to do the same thing coming back the other direction. So we're going to keep going this way. Here, see it's AAG. That's still considered GAA. You're still going to cut between the G and the A's. And we'll continue. Here we go, GAA. Now when we do that, we connect our two strands so that we have chunks taken out. So if I wanted to make these entire pieces of DNA, this would be piece one. This middle piece here would be piece two. And then my last piece over here would be piece three. So now we've broken this DNA into three different chunks. And the best thing to do after this point is go ahead and count the base pairs that you have. Now you only count full base pairs. So right here, let's start from this end. This is a full base pair. It's paired up, nothing's hanging off, nothing's missing from that sticky end that we've created by making this cut. So that's considered one base pair. So if we go across, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven complete base pairs. So this one has seven base pairs. We'll do the same thing over here. We're skipping the sticky ends. So it starts here with the CG. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll have nine base pairs here. And again, skip that sticky end. Remember, if it had cut straight through like this, it would be a blunt end. But because it's not, and it's cutting through in a different shape, we call those sticky ends. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, again, and another nine base pairs. This will become very important when we have gel electrophoresis because these chunks of DNA, they're, not, they're going to be different sizes. Seven base pairs is smaller than nine base pairs. And that's going to cause there to be different size bands on our gel electrophoresis. So restriction enzymes are really about chopping up this DNA into recognizable chunks so that we can better see them on a gel when we do electrophoresis. That's about it for today. Thanks for watching.